Greetings, everyone, and thank you for joining me today on the part five, I think, of Soulless, The Case Against R. Kelly by Jim Derrick Goddess. And I am going to let everyone know that at first I thought this was a good idea to read um, the Soulless book, but I'm going to stop at chapter four. I'm not going into chapter five because there are a bunch of lies. There are a bunch of um, accounts that was supposedly handled out of court. You have now you have the docuseries coming forward. And I just cannot give any type of accolade to that farce, to that, you know, prostitution ring to be, you know, to take over Robert Sylvester Kelly. So that's what this podcast is going to be about. I'm going to read some of the comments that I have found since doing the Dara Goddess reading, the Solace reading, and the motion by attorney Jennifer Bonjean. And all of that is in the uh, playlist description area of the um, channel. So Willie Smith writes, so basically it was a setup from the beginning by the family. She was in on it, but caught feelings. And the fact that he wanted to make sure she was 18 in that hotel room says a lot. I agree with you, Willie. I believe that, you know, the way that this book constantly talks about, you know, the ID and R. Kelly having the prompts up on his tours and on his, you know, um, his different, um, um, concerts saying that you must be 18 to mess with me. Yeah. I do believe that this was an underhanded connection to get to the money, to get to him. I think he has been used as a, as, as a cash cow, you know? Um, and then now that he has you know, been now all of a sudden everybody wants to blame him, but yet parents and and people who were around that knew this stuff was going down, did nothing, said nothing. And we're back at that. So that's nothing new. Okay. Um, I do believe that all of these recantings of stories, they knew years later what they were going to do. So they had to do certain things to just make it make sense to those who can't see through the cloud, those who can't see, you know, through the manifestation of what men do to powerful men to bring them down, especially as African-American men. Not too many of them are successful in the world to the degree of their counterparts. So I believe that this could have been, definitely, this could have been a situation. Um, Also, 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 I want to share with you something that um, someone wrote here, and it's a very good one. Sending love to you via UK is disastrous. Sony allowed it all to happen. I said this a long time ago. R. Kelly has rights under Disability and Equality Act. Even with Sony, he contracts his masters. Fact, he was born with his disability, and if still present, after the age of 16, then he is untitled to challenge Sony under this law. He owns his music, not Sony. They bled him on the out and thought by bleeding him, it would also be a part of the court situation without his consent being inside. And now it's all backlashing and so it should. That's how due process denied right there. That's his due process denied right there. Trying him guilty before innocent is under SEN law illegal. They'll all pay a heavy price. I am unbelievably confident when it comes to this law. Sister, I can go right to the World EU Human Rights Committee Convention Board if I needed to, just to prove his point if he wanted to. I arrived with this knowledge in 2018. Kelly has rights and it takes a street smart, not a classroom one to know this. 
easy to put it in a comment, but never leave one. My information facts check. He's out of pocket, not from his hard efforts, but because everyone is fleecing him dry. On remand to not even a trial date was due. It was disgusting. Thank you from the United Kingdom. That was a good point to consider. His disability definitely should have played a role in how they took care of Robert Sylvester Kelly. And it's just really, really sad. Um, very sad. And what people, okay, this is a perspective me. Um, and she writes, what people don't realize is his positive music is part of the reason he is being ousted. Who else promotes love making of a man and a woman? Who else promotes family gatherings and happiness? Look at where the world is headed. Most important word in the Bible is love. So I thank you so much for, um, perspective me. I think that was good too. Um, <clears throat> it's just, Waiting on the sentencing um, is what I am doing now, and my goal is to just keep it 100%, you know, active on this channel so we will know what's going on. The truth is defiantly the light. Anyone that does not see it does not want to see it. Thank you so much for helping to share some of the injustice that was done for R. Kelly. God bless. That was Lola H. My guy going to be back wiser, stronger, and richer. I can do all of his songs as though he was singing in front of me. From the, um, thank you, sir. You taught me 40% of what I know of singing. If anyone I can do, I can pray to the most highest. Allow us to meet. You would be too proud. And, um, yeah, so so it's 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 really not about meeting him right now and trying to, you know, spruce him back up. It's about him doing what he needs to do for his life. You know, taking this moment to to come back to reality and to see that what, you know, what is he going to do next? Because a lot of people it, just right now I can see it. They have their hands out ready for assistance to help him with the expectation of getting something now he has nothing now so it's about the love it's about the the, the opportunities to let him know that he is not alone um it's just wow wow the things that even some of the people that he was connected to in the music industry, they're not saying anything. I wonder how they're going to feel if the sentence is time served and he can leave. He can leave. He can walk out. Time served. Mm. It's going to be that easy for them to come back and just say, yo, 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 my brother. Let me talk to you. Let me holla at you. You know, doing that fake stuff. You know, just, just, just doing that fake stuff. Oh, man, man, man. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I am very happy for you, R. Kelly, and will continue to pray for you. You are going to always have haters. It's okay. It's part of life. But remember, your life is already destined, and there is nothing no one can do to change or take that from you. That's from Rosalind R. Thank you, Rosalind. He needs that. He needs to hear that. Um, yeah, he needs to hear that. So what are your views? What are your feelings about what you're hearing? Um, Miss Johnson says... She was born and raised in New York, Brooklyn, listening to R. Kelly. It fills her heart to look and say and pray for him that he is going to beat the case. I feel God's spirit with tears, and I pray. I feel him. He loves his mom, misses her much. Make more music. Make more music. That's the only way. 
that we're going to be able to literally defeat the devil, defeat these enemies that came to destroy, devour, you know? It's funny, two women came out of nowhere claiming to be his long lost aunts and of his father. He never knew. And there are two women claiming to be his long lost sisters of a father he never knew. I wonder if the two women claiming to be his aunts are the same women claiming to be his sisters. You never know. You never know. Why? Because people see. They already know what happened. They already know he has a heart. So when this happens, when this takes place, it's easy to just say, wow, keep a circle small. That's what he's going to have to do. This guy right here, I highlighted his comment and I pinned it. Who going to check me? This guy right here brought it all out. They wronged R. Kelly on every level. His due process was doomed from the beginning. Everyone involved took total advantage of his dis disabilities, his fame and fortune. I'm happy that Bon Jean is his appellate attorney because her record of exposing injustices is phenomenal. Everyone needs to stop speculating on what the mainstream is reporting. They've never reported facts since the beginning. They've made this man guilty before he ever received a fair trial, which is despicable. And I thank you so much. That right there, that right there is the truth, Ruth. It took me back to do the right thing <laughs> with Spike Lee. Um, yeah, that's the truth. And we got to accept it and appreciate that. Thank you. I had one that was really a good one. Um, but I can't seem to find it right now. It was a good one. I mean, it talked about his legal, um, issues and everything. But anyway, I, I just have to get on and just say that I will no longer be reading soulless because no, these are all lies. They're all lies. Mm. What if R. Kelly comes back with some, with time served? Who would be happy to know that he is done serving his time? Yeah, this is the one. Sending love to you via UK is disastrous. Oh, I think I read that one. No, this isn't the one. Okay, Ryan C. writes, thanks for starring the podcast. We need to do all we can in order to help Robert, who was wrongfully imprisoned, and we will eliminate the Man Act at once. Eliminating the Man Act, the Man Act does not even exist in his situation. There was no coercion. There was no, none of that. There, there was no enticement. There was no um, bribery of any sort of, you know, it was just... Oh, this is just a hot mess, <laughs> a hot ass mess. There is one post that was on here that was just so awesome. So awesome. But yeah, I'm not going to waste your time now. I thank you for joining me and um, keeping R. Kelly in your viewpoint of success and you know we just what do we need to do what do we need to do in order to make life abundantly um, fruitful for this young man because there's going to be a lot of things that he's going to have to endure coming home just coming home coming home I believe that the new and and I understand the LGBT community and how on the scene everyone is, you know, into the world of sexuality with, you know, genders. I mean, but I also believe that this has always been in the making for 
a setup to create the movement so that traditional relationships would die out and the homosexual relationships would become the norm. That's what one of my sisters, Sophia, always says that, you know, they're even, you know, they're, they're really focused on that. Do you think that that movement has something to do with R. Kelly and his situation now, what he's going through right now? Because again, in Solace, the reason why I stopped reading it was because every single one of these women who were talking about all of the heinous things that R. Kelly had done to them, no one came forth. No one came forth. Believe you me, you best believe if I'm disrespected in any way, shape or form, I'm telling on you, I'm telling on your mama because you ain't doing that to me. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. And that pisses me off so bad because men and women can basically lose their freedom because someone's threatening something that they have no proof of. No proof, you know? Oh man. Well, anyway, thank you for letting me vent because I'm feeling some kind of way right now. I really am. I'm feeling, you know, that all the music, all the love, all the joy, all the things that he was doing, you know, and maybe if the women weren't so available to him, maybe he would not have been that way. But when you're given the opportunity to treat me like an animal, then whose fault is it? Is it my fault that I allow you to treat me like an animal? Because I can easily say I choose not. And, and, and here's another thing. Here's something else that just came up to me. None of these women seem to have made it in the music industry. Could they have been pissed that he said, nope, you're not good enough. Get out of my studio. I don't want you. He could have had that egotistical way because he is one that were, he even told Tony Braxton or one of the Braxtons. He's like, this is how it's going to be. If you don't sing it, then I'm going to sing it myself. He was just a very, you know, um, he's close to a Sagittarius. And I'm telling you, I'm a Sagittarius. I'm fire. And when something is not the way I know it should be, and I am the one creating the whole backdrop to the story, if you don't do it my way, then you can kick rocks with no socks because it's not happening. It's not going down the way you want to go it to go down because that's what makes you a king. That's what makes you a queen. When you stand up for yourself and when you say, no, this is not how it's going to go. This is not it. I, I don't see this in my future. Thank you. You're not part of my future. Oh, now I'm not part of your future. You didn't have sex with me and then, get, you, you, you know, I'm going to put something out there. I'm going to put something out there and believe me, you people are going to believe it. Sad, sick, but that's the way of the world. Right is not right. It's wrong. Wrong is right in this type of world. So we have to always protect ourselves. We have to always know what is most important. Because that's the very thing that's going to keep our sanity. Because these laws change every day. We don't, won't even know. A tort can come out today reflective to something that we didn't even know that was on the books. We have to be careful with this technology because we don't know what big brother is watching. What big brother is listening. And we have to be smarter than the system. And how can you someone said be street smart not book smart street smart because that's how you're going to make it in this world and for those who believe in Robert Sylvester Kelly I'm here to tell you keep believing keep knowing keep knowing keep believing he'll be back just as before he'll come back the true Jesus really shows up and it's just us, Jesus, the real 
will show up. Have faith and know. Thank you so much for joining, liking, commenting, subscribing on this channel. I'm just ranting on this one. I have no type of organization to this video. None. So I hope someone listens. <laughs> I hope someone understands. It's so full. It's full of soul. And I think Derek Goddess tried to take the soul and make it less. And you can't do that to a passionate individual who has serviced a whole world internationally, nationally, and globally, and, and, and wherever, whatever else, universally. It should be full of soul. Because all that bullshit you talking to Derek Goddess, I'm telling you and I'll tell you your face. It was only to make you look good. Black and white. It's just black and white. For those who believe him, I mean, I have nothing to say to you. That's your belief. For those who do believe what, don't believe what he has to say and is on R. Kelly's side, please know why you know what you know. Because this world can turn and taint anything that you believe into what they want you to believe. And that's not fair. We have always been under the eye of social media, but now we have, well, we've been under the eye of the media until social media. When everyone's able to say and do and think whatever they want to think, feel, emotionally connect to, it's, a, it's their choice now. And that's how it should have always been from the very beginning. I believe Robert Sylvester Kelly's case is only to bring a world together, determine the haters from the fakers. Being real is what it's all about. God bless.